Hey, hey, beautiful babes, sweet angel in the building. Listen, so glad you're here. Listen, if you're new to the channel, don't be a stranger. Join my beautiful babe brigade. All you have to do is subscribe. It's free 99. <laughs> it's free y'all. No trouble there. But listen, if you subscribe, go ahead and turn on your bell notification so you'll be in the know each and every time I upload. And listen y'all today, I took on the challenge. I did. I had to because hey, if they say it works, I want to see if they're right about it. You know what I'm saying? I want to say, I want to see it for myself. So I did. I took on the seven day challenge to get glass skin. Yes, I did. And I'm going to show y'all how you can do it too. So listen, I've already whipped this one up. I wish I could share it with you because all I could do is just hand it through the screen and you're on. Okay. But I can't do that. But listen, it's easy to mix up and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so you can take on the challenge. So am I glowing or what? See you like what you see? I love it. I do. I do. I love taking care of my skin. I love taking on a challenge and baby, this was it. This was it. So I'm going to show y'all how to do it. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get to it now. <laughs> So it's pretty simple for the most part. All it takes is four ingredients. We're going to start off with one I've talked about before, which is graham flour. Graham flour, or you may also see it as basin. So there's several reasons why graham flour is great for the skin. Now, if you have acne, the zinc in graham flour can fight infections that cause acne as the fiber stabilizes blood sugar levels. Imbalanced blood sugar levels can stress your hormones, causing breakouts or pimples, and graham flour can prevent that. If you need to remove a tan, you can use graham flour to help with that. Graham flour is also great to exfoliate your dead skin. It is amazing for reducing oily skin. It's also been known to help remove fine facial hair as well. If you're looking for something that'll help to brighten the skin and lighten the skin, graham flour is a great candidate for that. Graham flour has been used for the skin in India for centuries. The next ingredient is turmeric. I call it turmeric because that's the way it looks, okay? Turmeric is one of those that, man, it is great for skin care. There's a lot of reasons why, but let me just name a few. Now, when it comes to the benefits of turmeric, its active ingredient is curcumin, which is able to suppress specific stimuli in the immune system thereby making it beneficial for inflammatory skin conditions like eczema, seborrheic dermatitis, and psoriasis. It also helps wounds to heal faster. If you get a scratch or pick a zit, curcumin can help by decreasing oxidation and lowering the stress response. Now, also when it comes to turmeric, studies have even shown that it can help decrease UV damage due to its antioxidant properties, which is why it feels cool and calming when you apply it on a sunburn or a heat rash. And turmeric is also able to quell away free radicals that cause aging, which is why it aids in maintaining collagen levels and moisture. So guess what? That means the reduction of wrinkles and fine lines. Now turmeric is also an important ingredient to help fight acne and other irritations on the face, especially for sensitive skin types. Curcumin in the turmeric is said to be able to inhibit the tyrosinase enzyme, which is responsible for creating dark spots from sun damage or hyperpigmentation. So the buildup of toxins on the skin can lead to dull, irritated skin. Turmeric's purifying qualities are directly related to a beautiful complexion. Research has even found it to be the case, and this is what's going to help leave your skin bouncier and brighter. Now do you see where I'm going with this facial mask? 
there's not a whole lot I need to say about this next ingredient except wow it's Greek yogurt now I am using Greek yogurt but you can substitute this plain Greek yogurt with regular yogurt buttermilk or sour cream be it that all of those have the one content that's definitely needed which is lactic acid that's an alpha hydroxy acid that dissolves dead skin cells now in those yogurt the milk butter milk sour cream any of those this gentle exfoliation that it has not only helps to create that natural glow that's what we're looking for right that natural glow and it also helps to prevent breakouts but it also works to diminish the appearance of lines and wrinkles did you know all of this stuff was in your kitchen? Come on, y'all. This is amazing. And it amazes me each and every time I whip up something. Yes, it does. Next up, we have honey. And I'm using organic, raw, unfiltered honey. Not the one with the little bear. I tell y'all that all the time. When it comes to honey and the skin, there's no greater amazement than honey. Its anti-inflammatory benefits help remove excess oil from the surface. And if applied every day, it'll balance the bacteria on your skin. It is amazing. See, the after effects of honey on the skin is that of hydration and glow. And that's where we're going to right now. That glassy, glowing skin. Honey even leaves the skin tight and bouncy and has that golden glow and you'll have a clearer complexion because of this amazement from nature it's honey baby and now we have all of our ingredients this is an amazing group of items individually and when you combine them you're looking at what we call the tightest most glowing and flawless skin Ever. I took on the challenge y'all so I can vouch for that but guess what you'll also in the process of all of that help to cure skin problems like dullness dryness spots and large pores so you have some amazing stuff right here let's go ahead and mix it all together now that we have it so we had our one tablespoon of graham flour we have a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of the plain yogurt, which you can substitute regular yogurt, buttermilk, sour cream in the mix, and a half tablespoon of honey. These four ingredients will give you amazing results. And you'll be surprised how powerful simple ingredients are let's just mix this well very simple to do to get it all blended up because we are about ready to apply this to the face aren't you ready for it aren't you ready for it now don't be a stranger to the description of this video there you will find everything that you need to know about this mixture here how much to use and where you can get it from if you don't have these things already at home. But I'm feeling that the majority of these items are right in your kitchen right now. Isn't that a beautiful mix? That is some beautiful stuff right there. I'm eager. I'm ready to put this on my face. So let's get to it right now. So as always, I have to prep my face, get it cleansed up, and I'm going in with my Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser. This is a milky white cleanser that's enriched with vitamins A, B, and E, ceramide, and minerals to help your skin feel moisturized and look radiant. I love this. You get it from Avon. Check out my link in the description box if you're interested in this foaming cleanser. And I'm just going in deeply into my face, getting all the nooks and crannies to make sure my face is good and clean to receive this amazing mask. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse that off now. And I'll be back in a moment to start the process of applying this amazing mask to my face.
all right the face is all clean honey it's time to get this mask put on let's get it let's go so now i'm just going to go ahead and apply I'm applying this generously. Remember, this is a seven day challenge and I'm on day seven, baby. Actually, I have enough left over for another treatment. So let's go ahead and get this massaged in and just concentrate on those areas where you do have more pigmentation at. went ahead and took off my robe due to that turmeric it may have some staining on my white so it feels so good and so so refreshing now when you apply this make sure you avoid the eyes definitely make sure you do that I always recommend doing a patch test before starting to apply anything to your skin once I have it completely on again I'm massaging it in all over my face but I will also leave it on for about 10 minutes for the mask to fully dry then once that's done I'm going to rinse my face so stay tuned for that and I'll let you see what it looks like afterwards now you're going to do this seven days in a row baby you're going to do it seven days in a row so be ready for it okay so this is what she's looking like right now super tight and i'm getting ready to rinse it off as you can see the majority of it has dried i'm just kind of looking in the mirror over here and the rest of it that's pretty thick has not so let's go ahead and get this off of here so i can show y'all what the skin looks like does it look like glass what does it look like day seven of the challenge and i am just bringing it to y'all i'm just bringing it to y'all to see if you want to get on board with me on this face mask here i tell you what it's super tight right now but i'm gonna go ahead it's super tight right now i can hardly talk so let me go ahead get it rinsed off and i'll be back momentarily now in rinsing it off i am not going to use a facial cleanser or a soap i'm just going to rinse it off and usually what i do i have some little sponges that i use to rinse off and you can see those right here or I'll use a paper towel under the water and just rinse like that. Whatever is convenient for you, but don't use your own personal face cloths because the turmeric, of course, may stain those items. It may rinse out, but don't want to stain anything, okay? And I use, of course, white cloths all the time. So let me go ahead and rinse this off and I'll be back to you. Yes, I am utterly, utterly impressed by this one. Yes, yes, yes. And beautiful babe, since it's daytime, I want to keep this glow going. Guess what I'm going to use today? Some Casarati oil. Yes, the Ayurveda experience. I have her exactly right here. We're going to go ahead and use this one right here. Oh my, absolutely. And keep this glow up, <laughs> baby. Yes. Take on the challenge, beautiful babes. It is worth saving your skin. Oh, yes. And this oil is perfect for daytime. And if you're going out, be sure to put on your sunscreen. Be sure to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. There is nothing like a facial glowing without makeup no makeup no highlighter just natural glow of your skin oh yeah <laughs> i love it time and time again 
day seven. Are you ready for the challenge? I want to know if you are. And since I'm hanging out with the Ayurveda Experience products, I'm going to go ahead and use my Rufalia Periorbital Cream, my eye cream here, eye emulsion as they call it. Yes, girl, I tell you what, I feel good. I really want to put on some makeup and get to stepping because listen, there is nothing like as I said, treating yourself to a little time and honey. Yes, getting this face in order. I love it. <laughs> okay. So that's the way we do it. And I'm going to save this for just one more day of it. Okay. This is the last of it. So one more day of it. I'll do this one tomorrow morning and we'll be on our way to guess what? Even more glowing skin. So this is something that you can take on seven day challenge. Hey, at least do this once a month. You can do that for yourself, right? Absolutely. Listen, y'all, I'm out of here. I'm your girl, sweet angel. As I said in the beginning, y'all know, y'all know, listen, this is what we do over here and I love it. And I love taking care of the skin. So y'all take care of yourselves until next time. Let me know if you're trying this one out, make sure you leave me a comment. If you like today's video, learn something new and intriguing, please drop a like on the video. I need your likes. I need your comments. I need some hearts down in the comments. Let me know that you're enjoying the content. I appreciate you so much. And listen, I'm not finished with y'all yet. So stick and stay subscribe, hit the post notification bell and be ready for the next one. I drop right here. Listen, I'm out of here. Take care and please don't keep me a secret. Tell everybody where you're hanging out at right here on this channel. So please share me with your world. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.